followers of fashion and many ordinary Ghanaians were shocked the afternoon of Saturday the 3rd of May 2014 with the news of the demise of Ghana's fashion and design icon Kofi Ansan. A pioneer in modern African fashion and design, Ansan had been a tireless force in promoting and exposing West African styles on the international stage. Credited with the changing face of the Ghanaian fashion landscape and a leader in the field of African fashion design, Kofi Ansan was a renowned, innovative and creative fashion designer. I remember Kofi walking into my studio. In fact, that was the first time I met him. And he came to visit, he'd come to Ghana and uh, you know, we just started talking. I think I was preparing for a fashion show, he'd heard about it. And we just shared a lot of ideas and so on. And I was really impressed with, um, he had this jeans design, he had uh, created the fabric himself and it had uh, a print, some print imprint into the denim fabric. I thought that was great. There's something that he, he's been very um, um, passionate about patenting our, you know, our, our fabrics, especially Kente. He thinks that the rest of the world was um, taking over what is really um, part of our heritage, especially Kente. So he was looking at us going beyond what we do at Boeing where, where they weave uh, uh, Kente as we know from, from back in the day. They were, he thinks that we, with the evolution of time and um, 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 technology, we should find a new way of uh, getting it done, you know, in a, a much more uh, sophisticated way, if I may put it that way. I used to be a contractor, uh, designer for Van Houston shirts. A sample order is 1.4 million. That is a, a sample, sample order. A sample order. Is 1.4 million shares. Million so if you're able to do this, you become a millionaire just on that order. Yes, overnight. He, he was everything I read and heard about him. Kofi Ansan returned to Ghana after his studies at the Chelsea School of Art in London, where he graduated with first class honors in fashion design and distinction in design technology to set up his company called Art Dress Limited. Mr. Ansa is one of very few designers to break into the mainstream fashion capitals such as Paris, Milan and London with his collections always inspired by the art of blending the richly textured and boldly colored fabrics. He inspired a great number of young Ghanaian fashion designers always ready to share his experiences and knowledge. I, uh had the opportunity to meet uh, the late Kofi Ansa the first time when I had just uh, organized a thesis program in the School of Architecture and I needed resource persons to give me information concerning the industry. I took a letter from the school and I went to his studio. At the time he just returned uh, I think from the UK and he was in the process of setting up his activities here. We had a very brief dis discussion but I think it was a very impressionable one because I, I do recollect uh, the detail in which he had arranged his, uh, his workshop and the way in which the people that were working with him were also functioning. Uh, further on I think uh, I had gotten out of school and I had set up my own business and we had been drafted to, to, to uh, help in an activity for the Presidential Special Initiative on Garments and Textile. Uh, he was one of the resource persons uh, involved. And so we met regularly at uh, meetings at the State House. Uh, he was a very affable, uh, interesting person. He seemed very pragmatic in his thinking about the industry. Uh, I could also tell that he was uh, uh, very well educated uh, in terms of uh, fashion and so he shared a great many of his experiences. I met Kofi Ansa when I was 10 years old. He featured me in one of his fashion shows called Celebration of Colors and from a young age he inspired me to delve into the world of fashion and he's been such a great influence on me and what I've been able to come up with so far. I remember when I 
made the decision to actually venture into the fashion business and he was very encouraging although I had a career I was already pursuing he was very encouraging and he told me that once you put your mind to something and you are determined to achieve it set your goals and you'll be able to achieve it and I am proud to say that Afromod was birthed by his encouragement supported people in diverse ways. When I decided to establish my label in 1957, he's one of those who called me to caution me, especially for the use of the name 1957, because then to him it means or meant that I can't get things wrong. Um, he really supported me also when it was, whenever it was time for my annual rhythms on the runway. There was a time that we actually gave my platform to come see a little something, being the father of uh, fashion, not just in Ghana, but across Africa. Um, you know, we gave him a platform to come say something and uh, he was actually built to be on this year's show which is supposed to be in August just uh, uh, as, as a, uh, someone who's supporting um, the annual rhythms on the runway and um, unfortunately we don't have more. Before I even started doing fashion, seeing some of his designs in magazines with um, a calabash or typical African print and I said wow this is something that portrays Africa in, in a good way and that's kind of where I get some of my ideas from when I'm doing an international fashion show I make sure I make it typically African or I make them know that this is from Africa although there's contemporary there's always a touch of Africa somewhere Kofi Ansa is known for his craftsmanship in women's wear highlighted by an undeniable signature touch, a great combination of Western contemporary design and traditional West African art. He created and served as the president of the Federation of African Designers, won a host of prestigious fashion awards, some of which include the Ghana Quality Awards Diamond Division for clothing and textile in 2003 and the Millennium 2000 African Fashion Awards. Many who knew him closely and afar will attest to the fact that his death has robbed not only Ghana's fashion industry but the entire global fashion industry of one of its creative minds. Kofi Ansa's loss has affected um, the fashion industry in Ghana and across the world but I'm sure his legacy still lives on, the name still lives on and that's what we're all trying to do in this field, make sure we leave a mark and a name so that decades down the line our, our, our names will be mentioned on the lips of people. So Kofi uh, Ansa, may you rest in perfect peace and thank you very very much for leading the way. Very difficult and I personally would not want to uh, what the tradition that we do here viewing a, a dead person you know I just want to continue to think about him as who he was and for all of us who think about who he was, the lives that he touched, for those who worked with him, for those he trained, you know, you have to keep that dream going. He was somebody who motivated one a lot. He had certain ideas like every creative person I would think were crazy, but they were fresh and you know, it's, it's really tough and uh, we'll miss him. We'll he's only missed uh, in the industry. For being a mentor to many, and then also for for being uh, a, a colleague to his peers, you know, and uh, just for being a, a fun person uh, to be around. He rest in peace. People like Kofi Ansa uh, are very rare to come across. Very good-hearted guy who uh, was very passionate about the growth of fashion, not just in Ghana but across Africa. People come and go like the moon, sun and rain, but Kofi Ansa will linger on in our hearts forever. And his passing has left a very, very huge gap in the creative industry because of the influence that he's been able 
to give to us. But we know that those of us who have learned from him, by him and with him, we will carry him in our hearts forever. Uncle Kofi, sleep well.